Hello everyone and welcome back to the Harvey Farm. Today we are going to be doing a couple things. So it is the second week in March. We got through the winter just fine. And we are going to be getting ready for spring tillage, which we don't have a whole lot. We just have two bean fields that we harvested last year. Our corn fields that we applied in hydras to, we are going to leave alone just because they had the toolbar on there that chopped up the corn stalks, so I don't think it's necessary to, to do that. If I would have did any tillage to the fields, I would have done it after, a couple days after I applied in hydras. So right now, we're able to plant in them fields if we wanted to, which we have to wait at least a couple more weeks yet before we do that, but right now we are going to be selling a tractor, so this piece of H that we just bought not too long ago, this 8950, we are going to be taking that down to the John Deere dealership, and we are going to be trading that in on a 6M John Deere series, a 240 horse tractor with a cab. We did made this call here a couple days ago, um, they got one in, and we went down there and checked it out, and we like it. And we want to buy it. So instead of getting rid of, getting rid of our other John Deere's, we just decided to go with this 8950. Um, this other tractor is really nice. And we kind of want to roll with it. So we got the Kenworth hooked up to the low boy. And we're going to head downtown and sign some paperwork and work out some money. But we're not going to have to spend a whole lot of get to our good deal. So it's not going to actually. We heard us, I guess that's why we're doing it. But with our milk coming in every week, making it's out to the bank. We still have two loads of dry corn to sell. So we have three loads of dry corn. So we have two that are loaded, one more in a bin. But we're looking pretty great now, and that's that's good. Update on the cows, everything is going good. We still have the same amount of cows we made it through the winter. M, not the low incidents, which is really good. Uh, any other updates I can think of? We're moving along. We don't have a whole lot of tillage to do, so you know, we wanted to get this done here first thing this morning. Um, and no, we're not cleaning this tractor off. I, I, I fair warned them. And uh, they said just bring it on down, we'll take care of it. Really good, really good guys down there at the local dealership. So, let's trap this down real quick. Yeah, so we didn't have this tractor very long. And, uh, wouldn't have done it if I didn't fall in love with the 6M series. Oh, been waiting to buy one of them for a while. And when I purchased the 8950, they did not have one. And I didn't want to travel too far for one of this 8950 would do the job, which it did. We didn't have any issues with it at all. So, all right, old boys put back up, and we are going to be heading downtown, get you guys down at the dealership.
right. already. We actually had a quick change. So we'll come down here for 6M series. Don't know what happened. We ended up buying a bigger tractor than 6M. We have a 7M series. Same horsepower. Duels, which I didn't really want the duels on this tractor, but they come with it. So this is our new tractor. A new 7M tractor. Got the chrome stack, which I love the chrome stack. That's awesome. Yeah, a little bit of confusion going on. Um, and I apologize for that. I did tell you guys I was coming down here for a 6M series. And it was determined last second that when I seen this one, they have a 7M. So let's hop in here and let's fire this up. So let's come with the monitor. We did not get the GPS to start fire. I decided just because we're not going to be planting with this tractor, we shouldn't need it. No. So we did not get that on here. Very nice. It's got the sunshade. Um, got a CB radio in here, which is nice. Did have a front motor option. Did not go with that. Um, yeah, like I said, this is pretty much just the same tractor we come down here for, but one step up. And it was the price was a little. So we spent a little bit more. We got seventy four thousand for eighty nine fifty, and this tractor was just shy of 200,000 so we're down to 226,000 but just fine and I definitely love it it's nice even with the duels I guess it does look a little bit with the duels on there you know front end got the newer style look the old, the other one is in the shop I showed you guys that the 6M that we were going to buy um, but the salesman did talk me out of it pretty much and showed me this Tendency to do that down here. Yeah, it actually looks really good. It sounds good too. Let's go drive it quick on the low boy. Get it loaded up, get out of here. Or get me to buy something else. It does have the power shift trans in it, so it's got extra fork on it. It's going to be a very handy tractor for just doing this landing stuff on the farm. We're going to have to expand our trailer a little bit because we have duels now. Again, oh, dual tractors. I was not looking to get one, but I could pass up this opportunity. We are loaded up. We are going to be heading out. Okay, nothing on the wheel. Yeah, that track looks really good. I'm glad I woke up this. A little bit more than looks at it's, it's a nice track. We're gonna definitely get use out of this. The car is coming.
Okay, we made it back to the farm. Practice loaded. We're gonna get the 9620 and we are gonna be heading to our soybean field. So we can start the preparation on that. Getting that bean field disked up. I think we're gonna be using the high performance disc. This I don't think we're gonna need to plow it. Being it was beans in there, so not like corn stalks. So I think if we just run the disc, which we can run that at like 12 miles an hour, so this track handles it pretty well. Should be fine. Up there. Pretty good. Pretty good. Go up to the field. Other here. Good so far. Here's both the trucks. Both Kenworths are loaded with corn. Right now we're hoping for the first week of April. Looks like the market for dry corn is good. So they are ready to go. We're going to have a convoy of them going down the road. We have officially finished our tillage, our little cultivation. It took us a little, I think, like eight hours or something like that. We did end up bringing out the Case IH. Um, 255 cultivator just because it was going to take a while with the bigger field 
Um, the high disc was working well, but I wanted to break it up a little bit more. So I brought the cultivator out. Um, as you can see there in the video, we did bring out the 8R. We just do the headland pass with it, which is a little underpowered for this cultivator. So I just wanted to do a headland pass, and then I switched over, dropped it, and I switched over. So, so yeah, we are officially done. We have all of that done. Come back, get that. Alrighty, so we're gonna head back to the farm here. You're gonna park this, and we're gonna leave cultivator up because we want to clean it and stuff. We are going to have to go through and roll our fields, which we are looking at leasing a roller for that, which is you know, roughly 5,000. But all of our fields pretty much need to be rolled. Most likely, I think we can do it after beans on the game. I know a lot of guys really like to do it after they plant, but I don't know if that's going to let us do it on here. So we might just end up doing it, going through, and doing it. So. Yeah, like I said, it's a little after 8 o'clock, so I'm just going to pull this. I'm going to back it up because we are going to clean it before we park it. And then we're going to go get a ride and get the other tractor. I'll leave this run. All right, we're in the 8R. And we are heading back to the farm with the last tractor implement. And we're gonna do the same thing and park it next to the other tractor just because we're gonna go ahead and make it cleaning. We really shouldn't need them. Oh, you know, we don't do much fall tillage. We shouldn't really need them. It is kind of nice to apply that in hydrous in the fall and not have to worry about tilling up all of your fuels in the spring so we can relax a little bit before we have to worry about planting so the only other thing that we're going to be doing is most likely rolling uh, we do have some liquid manure we have actually quite a bit oh i believe we have well over 500,000 liters that we have to get rid of this year and that's going to be all after we plant that is the goal. It shouldn't trust over too bad where the seeds won't be able to come up. Um, we were going to implement it right into the ground, um, but we just decided to, being you know, that we didn't have that much ground to cultivate, we were going to do it this way. So I'm going to back this up over here because it's going to be second in line. And we're going to worry about that off camera so we're just gonna take care of that here all right guys that's gonna wrap up this episode here nothing too crazy finally moving in the spring finally getting cultivation finished up uh, not that it was too bad we only had about eight hours worth uh, compared to you know usually two or three days we could have went through some of the fields that we put in hydras on uh, but I kind of wanted to avoid that and I think the corn stalks are chopped up good enough where we can get the planter in there. We do have the roll cleaners through our planters as well, so it's not too big of a deal. Um, but yeah, other than that, kind of nice to use the big old John Deere. Uh, it's the first time I think they've used it on here. Um, and it is dirty. Definitely. But we're going to be using it with the roller. The roller that we're going to be getting is a pretty big roller, um, so we're going to be using this tractor for that. And then liquid manure, we're going to be using this tractor to pull that implement, or that trailer as well. That's going to help out a lot. So we're going to use this tractor a lot more, being it's pretty much brand new. Uh, haven't really used it a whole lot, so we're going to be using it now. Yeah, other than that, that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one.